So just in directing. Indeed. I thought it was a continuation of what you started and created, mm. but there was also his own spin on it. Totally. Was there a moment that you said, I'm kind of jealous, I wish I thought of that. It was just fun to watch him embrace a kind of old school original series vibe and also embrace a kind of complete, you know, spectacle, muscular action movie vibe. So I think he sort of found a way to hit the sweet spot. One of the themes of this film is unity and sort of the unity of the crew. Yeah. What as a director do you like to do alone and what do you need a crew for? It's my job to, to make sure I have a point of view. It's my job to make sure that we have a strategy. Then I bring everybody in and it's my job to motivate and, and empower everybody to, to really kind of come together and, 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 and ultimately, you know, contribute to this common goal. I read that you said, because you were such a Trekkie fan growing up, it was kind of like marrying your, growing up, your idol. It was a very um, s significant moment in my life, you know, to be given the keys to this particular kingdom. It was, um, it felt like a huge responsibility to actually have an active part in shaping this universe, to add characters and planets and situations to it. But I felt like I was eminently qualified. You know, I've grown up with Star Trek. I'm a huge fan of it. I'm in it. And um, I felt, ready to take the reins a little bit. Simon talked about writing this was kind of like marrying your childhood idol because he was such a Trekkie growing up. So if both of you had married your childhood idol, who would you be married to right now? Christy Swanson from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If I had to when I was a child, I would have married Cindy Crawford. <sighs> Prince. Love it. David Hasselhoff. They no. watched that. <laughs> Carl, if you'd married your uh, childhood idol, who would you be married to right now? Aaron Gray. <gasps> Who's that? Wilma Deering. Yes, Wilma Deering. From Buck Rogers. Buck Rogers. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay. Oh my God, she was divine. 